Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode three of the Drift Car Rebuild. Drift Car Road to SEMA. We're trying to get this car SEMA ready, essentially. When I say SEMA ready, I mean I want it to be at the level of being in SEMA. Yes, I'm an Australian. This car is in Australia. So the chances of this actually being in SEMA, super low, because it's really not that nice. But we're gonna try and make it look really good. So what we have to do today is the rocker cover is coming off to go to paint because we're getting that professionally painted, um, hopefully in the same type of purple. The engine bay has been sort of sprayed, as you can see, um, looks good. Now, I have a bit of a tiff with this engine bay. Obviously don't want to do this again. I've done this probably four times or on four different occasions on different cars. And I'm kind of at that point where I'm like, dude, the wiring needs to go. I don't want to see wires coming out of there and there. I, I don't. I don't really want to see it. I think it looks terrible. And if you're going to do a tuck, that is the proper way to do a tuck. So today we're gonna to try our best and our hardest to get the fuse box fully relocated under the dash, get those wires popping through and then see what we need to extend. So that's all good. But right now we need to take the rock cover off because the cap and the cover are going off and they're gonna get sprayed. So it's gonna look baller. Super interesting thing about this is this is the motor we turbo for Ruby and this cover hasn't been off since I turboed the car. So we're actually gonna get a look at the internals of the car, um, which I haven't seen uh, since I built it. So hopefully they all look good. Off we come, to be honest, super clean. It's actually super, super clean. Um, what's this gasket like? Sweet. Look at that. All right, now let's have a little rip into this. Get out of the way. Um, this looks phenomenal. Um, hell yeah, man. I'm stoked about this. This looks really good. Everything looks really nice and clean, shiny, no scuffs. That's what we want. Okay, now that's been now that's gonna go sent off to paint. We really got to get into this fuse box, um, and it's it's we've got we've got to get going. We, we've got to get going. is our entire harness from front to rear, um, from battery to fuse box. Now, essentially, the reason you do this is because if you don't do this, then you're, you're de-pinning this entire box and then pulling that through. And this is honestly just way easier, um, especially when you have a hoist. So this car's looking pretty bare at the moment. We've got to redo all of this. Um, and maybe like redo some of these battery cables because they are janky. Um, but yeah, and then we can get the fuse box up into the dash and looking sick. So let's do it. Okay, okay. So, I thought we had a lot of work to do. We've actually got triple the amount of work that I thought was a lot. So, does, does anyone else's brain do this? Where you're like, all right, I need to do something. So, for example, I was like, all right, I need to do the fuse box. I need to, like, that's my goal. Let's do everything I can to relocate the fuse box. And then my brain, my brain, looks in here and goes, okay, so, I need to get a fuse box under there. Oh, look at all this messy wiring. Oh, hell. Now, I have to redo that. So now I'm redoing all that. Why do I have this wired like this? Oh, I need to rewire that. It's just a never ending cycle of backlogging freaking job. Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna get this done by next Sunday. It's currently Tuesday and I've got a full drift event next Sunday. That's not a lot of time. It's not a lot of time. All right, 
dash is fully out. It is an absolute mess under here. I think what I've decided is, so as soon as I take this stuff out, sellability of the car pretty much goes down quite a lot just because it doesn't have a demister once you take that stuff out and then it will be completely illegal. Which is fine for a drift car, but with Ruby, I did not think about any of this stuff and now I can not really sell it. So here we are, I'm actually being responsible. So I think what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take all three of these out. So we've got the AC unit, the heater core, and the blower. Um, all three of those will come out and then we'll have all this space to actually run the fuse box through the tunnel um, and then route it all nicely. And by the end of it, this should be looking really, really good. I tell you what though, I'm pretty full. We've got 10 days till the event and quite a few of those days we're actually working. It's gonna be a push, but it's gonna look sick. This is gonna be like a show car once it's done. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> All right, so we gotta remove like this whole section of blower. Um, hopefully it comes out semi easily. I'm not sure if it will. Most of the time things don't. Oh my gosh, hello. <laughs> Right, oh yeah, look at that. There your um, actual evaporator and like refrigerant hoses. Oh, lovely. Um, and as soon as that comes out, it's like pretty much bare. So we'll actually have ample room to route any wiring we want. The thing you gotta be careful of is that it doesn't dump the coolant out of the heater core. Look at all the room. Oh. Dump all out all over your Haltech or all over your helmet, like it just did to me. Yeah, look at all the room it gives you. Sweet, it's just cooling all over my uh, carpet now. That's lit, oh, it's been leaking. Whoa, <laughs> smells good. All right, sick. All right, both body harnesses on both sides have been pulled through. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna blank it off. Um, I don't really know anyone with a 3D printer or access to that stuff, so that might just look a bit dodgy at the moment. But prepare yourselves because this looks intense. Check this out. Okay, so body loom all the way through. Body loom all the way through. So this looks hectic at the moment. Looks a bit intimidating, but it's really simple if you break it down. We've got the right side, the left side, and then the center electrics. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not really that much to it. What we have to do now is we have to figure out exactly what we need in the bay, exactly what we need in the, like exactly what we want to hide. Um, and then we've got to start extending and moving. Um, and, and mounting. So essentially we've got, to, we've got to figure out all of that. I haven't seen someone do this, like I haven't seen a guide on how to do this, so this is all just gonna be me making it up. So hopefully it works and we can get it looking sick. I'm sure it will. Okay, so we've got a bunch of wiring under here that needs to be rerouted. Gave us a quick vacuum, so now that's all good. Um, but yeah, now we need to actually <laughs> wire everything in, so should be fun. Okay, things are happening. We just went to Super Cheap Auto, grabbed a really crappy drill bit set that comes with um, hole saw adapters because I don't know why stores don't sell hole saw kits. But. So we need to drill a hole back there so that then we can route, um, then we can route the wiring down through the transmission tunnel um, and then up behind the engine. So yeah, uh, it's actually going pretty well. Looks sick, like that looks clear as, so pretty stoked on that. Obviously the engine bay at the moment looks, I mean, no, the interior <laughs> looks very messy, but we'll get there. Okay guys, well thanks so much for staying around to the end of the video. If you did get to this part of the video, make sure you let me know down in the comments. I know who you are, I see you. 
But this is where we got up today. We got a huge amount of progress on this car today. Honestly, dude, this thing looks sick. Like, far out. Let me show you. Okay, so, oh, the lighting in here is pretty crap, but check it out. So we've, we've done the black subframe and the black, um, the black steering. And then we're blacking like the whole tunnel down the sides there. So that just kind of blends into the, like the whole kind of car now. And then we've got this sick white paint job all along here. No wiring, look how sick that is, damn. That's, oh, I'm super, super stoked with how, dude, imagine an engine sitting in this bay right now, like, dude. It would be super cool, like, I've never, I've always seen those like photos on the internet. You know when people do like those crazy wire tucks, but I've never seen one in person. So I thought, I gotta do it. I gotta commit. Let's not talk about the interior though, because the interior is absolutely a mess at the moment. But the fuse box is fully rerouted. The fuse box now lives under the dash, which is sick. Um, we've got it all back to the uh, battery. It's all connected. Oh, so sick. So tomorrow we've got a few customer jobs on and then we're gonna get straight back into this car. We haven't got long till the event, so it's we're definitely on a crunch, but right now it looks so sick. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.